Let's talk about life insurance. Life insurance. Now, really, when we talk about life insurance, let's say we want a $250,000 policy. We call that the face amount. And what it really is, is it's a death benefit. It means if the policy holder, uh, if the insured dies, then the beneficiary gets this $250,000. So it's really not life insurance, it's really death insurance. We're insuring our death. Now, is life insurance for the person who buys it? Not really. It benefits the people who are left behind if that person dies. So, generally people who are one of the major wage earners in a family situation, they have dependents who depend on their income to survive, young children, etc. They would say, in the event of my death, I would want my wife and children to receive this money so that they could hopefully make it without me around. Now, this $250,000 face amount, the least expensive way to buy life insurance is what's called term insurance. That means we're buying this life insurance for a specified term of years, usually five years, 10 years, 20 years, and we can pay for it a year at a time or five years at a time, and you can see there's a, there's a, uh, a table in the book and in this current book, it is on page 473. And notice this chart, this table, gives the age of a person and then says, here's what five-year term would cost uh, per thousand dollars of coverage. Here's what straight life would cost, 20 payment life and 20 year endowment. Now here's how it works. Let's say uh, Bob is 40 years old and he wants to buy $250,000 worth of term insurance for five years, then they would say, here's how much you're going to pay per year. If we look under age 40, I see $3.52 as the table factor. Is that what everybody sees? So the table factor is $3.52. That's per year per thousand. How many thousands of face value does he want to buy? $250. So let's multiply this by 250, and that would be his annual premium, how much he's going to pay every year. I believe it comes out to 704, is that right? Whoops. What is it? 880. Oh, I know, because I changed the face amount from the book. 880. All right, excellent. Is that what everybody gets? 880 would be his annual premium, the amount he pays for this insurance. How's that feel for term insurance? Notice at the table in the left-hand margin, it says life insurance rates for males are what we see in this table. This rate is for a 40-year-old male. It says for females, subtract three years from the age. Now, why would that be? Females, on average, have a three-year longer lifespan, right? So a 40-year-old female gets to pay the same as what age male? 37. So if Bob's wife wants to get this same insurance, she doesn't pay this 352 if she's 37 years, I'm sorry, she's 40 years old. We look under 37 for her and she gets to pay 267 instead of 352. Okay. <laughs> now we could have a very interesting and I'm sure comical debate on why women live longer. Uh, the men might say we die sooner because you drive us to death. You annoy us to death or work us to death with all the honeydews. And of course the women might say uh, the reason that you die sooner is because you don't do what we tell you. <laughs> if you would just follow what we say, then you'd live longer. You know, go to the doctor. <laughs> okay, so regardless of the reasons, seriously, the reasons are generally historically rooted in occupations. Historically, 
it's men that have normally gone to war and gotten killed. It's men that have normally been in dangerous occupations, firefighters, police, uh, riveters on the thousandth floor of the skyscraper. And because men have more testosterone on average than women, they take more chances. They usually do things that are more dangerous. If someone says, hey, y'all, watch this, it's generally a male. <laughs> so that's, that's why the tables work out that way. Now, how does a company figure what they're going to charge? Well, how does a company figure what to charge you on your automobile? If you have a wreck in your car, what happens to your insurance premium? It goes up. Why? because you cost the company money. They're not going to charge somebody else as much if they don't cost the company as much money. Well, how does the company know how much to charge you at the beginning? Well, they look at all the statistics and they say, who has more wrecks? A 16-year-old who just got his license or a 30-year-old family man with four children? Generally, it's the 16-year-old. So if you're single, if you're single male under 25, you get hit really hard. If you're a family man with four children, but you buy a red Corvette, you're going to pay a lot because if you look at the statistics, red Corvettes get in wrecks more often than white four-door sedans do. So it doesn't matter what kind of driving record you have. If you buy a car that is in more wrecks, you're going to pay more. So in life insurance, they have people called actuaries, A-C-T-U-A-R-Y, and they put together things called actuarial tables that say, how likely is somebody like you, how likely are you to die this year? Now, can anybody predict whether any individual is going to die this year? No. But if you were looking at all the averages, would you say a seven-year-old seven child is more likely to die or a 70-year-old adult? a 70-year-old is more likely to die. More of them are going to die this year than others. And of course, there are a lot of things that play into that. Um, a person's health, a person's genetic history, family history. If, if all your parents and grandparents all died earlier than 50 of heart attacks, well then, you're going to have to pay a higher rate because of your family history. If you do things that take care of yourself physically, you're going to get a lower rate than somebody that doesn't take care of themselves physically. So all these things, uh, I mean, it, it sounds a little morbid, and in fact, sometimes they're called morbidity tables. But basically, when, when I buy life insurance, I am betting the company that I'm going to die this year, and I'm hoping I lose the bet. In other words, I say, I'll bet you 880 bucks I die this year. And they say, we'll bet you 250,000 you don't. So if they win the bet and I don't die, I have to pay them my 880. Actually, I pay them that on the front end. But then if I die, I win the bet. And they have to pay me the 250. Of course, I'm dead, so it doesn't make me all that happy. All right? So that's what we're doing. We're betting the life insurance company. So what the life insurance company says is, Let's say, how many guys, just like our 40-year-old male, are going to die this year? Well, as long as we sell enough of these to pay off all of those who die, then we stay in business. It's just like if we have a raffle. Uh, I'm sorry. Raffles are illegal in Arkansas. Uh, what do we have? We have a drawing where if you donate money to our cause, we will give you a ticket that gives you a chance in the drawing. Okay. Raffles are illegal. So, would you be willing to donate a dollar to our charitable organization? Oh, here's a little ticket and we'll put the other half of it in a drawing where you can win five hundred dollars. Well, do we really care who wins the five hundred? No. As long as we sell a thousand, I'm sorry, we don't sell them. As long as we get a thousand dollars worth of donations with a thousand tickets, then we're going to make five hundred dollars for our organization. Okay? It's just like a casino. It's just like Oaklawn. Somebody's going to win, but not very many somebody's are going to win. 
the house always wins because they're playing the entire spectrum of people. They know what the odds are. They just play the odds. So we know what these odds are. The person trying to get that 500 has a one in a thousand chance. But we've got a hundred percent chance that we're going to make 500 bucks because we already got the thousand and we're only going to give 500 of it back. Okay. So that's what happens here. Sell enough of these. All these guys live and a couple of them die. Make sure you got enough to pay those that die and more to keep the company afloat. So that's life insurance. That's term insurance. 